Hey guys, today I'm trying out the watercolor paints from IKEA. I already did a video on their markers, which are water-based markers, obviously, and I really liked the markers. I was quite surprised. And so, of course, I also had to try out the paints. You see that the watercolors come with these cups and brushes. I already tried one of those pr brushes. Now let's get water into that game because it's watercolor. <laughs> I decided to do a peacock because I thought that they are very colorful but not too colorful. I didn't want to use all of the colors but I wanted an animal where I could use a wide range of colors. So I'm using a lot of different blues and a lot of different greens. So I had the, the possibility to mix those together. And at first I added a bit of masking fluid and now I'm wetting the paper. So let's get started and add some paint to this piece. Yeah, at first I thought that they aren't really that bad. They seemed quite okay. They lay, laid down very smoothly at first, so I was quite impressed by that. And then I found out that you could do a great texture using them. So I decided to do a lot of texture on the peacock and you see me adding more and more blue to his neck and also now to his head. I'm also thinking about the piece that I did with the markers where I added tons and tons of different dots. So I kind of did it like that but in a more realistic way. And yeah, you see me mixing those together now and I'm darkening the neck again. Um, when you mix the colors and you add too much water to the paint, they get a very weird consistency. They're like creamy, which is very, very weird. I'm not used to that in watercolors. You see that I have a lot of texture on the neck now and I'm adding some kind of line art. But this brush, guys, <laughs> this brush is so incredibly bad for details. It's very fine in at the end, so I thought that I could maybe use it for details. And I really wanted to stick to the brushes that were in this set. But it was so hard. I'm so proud of the face because I managed to do a lot of details there with that brush. And oh, you see it here. The brush is so damn thick and there's a thin line at the end. Yes, but it's so hard to control. In the end, I gave up and used my brush. Yeah, but I tried and I don't think that this brush is that bad but yeah it's quite bad because it's so soft it's super soft it feels like a makeup brush I feel like you could use that to put I don't know eyeshadow on it's so soft so if you're just doing a background where you don't need any details maybe that brush is exactly the right thing for you but if you're doing any details, oh no, don't rely on that brush. Now we have this vibrant green and yeah, if you like vibrant colors, don't mix them together and you get a quite a vibrant effect. This green is, it looks almost neon. So I'm adding details to the background as well, those tiny feathers. And then I realized that you can't really paint over top of details because they will disappear. So if you paint over top of an already dry paint, then you sort of erase what you've drawn there. My watercolors are more like they can be reactivated, but they don't 
uh, they aren't possible to to completely erase once they're dry and you don't really want that because you want to keep your detail maybe add some shadows back in and that was so hard I don't know how to explain it but I had some trouble with those green feathers and now I'm adding more and more detail in and also there's a white color and I really wanted to use that because I wanted to see if this is opaque and uh, what's that really because there's no such thing as white watercolor so it must be kind of a gouache but to be honest, you guys, I don't think that those watercolors should be called watercolors. <laughs> they are kind of opaque. They are chalky. It feels like a mixture between watercolors and eyeshadow. And I think that you could maybe paint better with eyeshadow. I don't know. I've never painted with eyeshadow before, but it feels like that. It's so powdery. If you touch the paint and it's dry, then your finger has paint on it. <laughs> I don't get how those paints are made. They are, of course, made very cheaply, so I didn't expect a lot from them, really, I didn't. But they are worse than the watercolors that I used in elementary school. And the watercolors that I used in elementary school weren't more expensive than these ones so if you happen to live in a german-speaking country in europe use pelican watercolors because they sell those everywhere and they are very cheap very affordable they're like six euros and they are so good of course they're not light fast but they are so much better than those ikea ones so now i'm peeling off the tape which is so satisfying and I'm really proud of this piece especially of the face because I managed to get so much detail in there and it doesn't really look that bad I had an okay time doing it but please don't buy those watercolors for art purposes I might use them for crafts in the future but that's about it so I really hope that you liked this video and if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, have a nice week, goodbye!